I'm in my pajamas, fully in my pajamas, and it feels so good. Wait, we're missing something. We are missing a very important thing. Hold on. We're good. We're, we're, are we good? Are we good? Oh, we're good. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, or Missa. If you're new around here, hi. Today we're sponsored by Budweiser. Legally, we're not really, but it's fun to say it. Just a quick intro to my 2020 to declutter. This is part three. Today we're going to work on the right hand side of my unit and also we're going to do my like this case here with all my like glitters and stuff in it. I just played with makeup all day. It was so fun. This makeup look took me like four hours because I just relaxed and sat blending and it was so nice and I feel like now I should have filmed it because I think it came out like so good. So I'm going to have to take these lower lashes off so carefully because they're my last ones. But yeah, if you want to see this makeup look, do leave a comment and tell me. Because I feel, I feel like my sexy alter ego, Hannah Danger. Like the where's the police outfit on Halloween and stuff. Anyway, let's jump into it. We are going to start decluttering and I'm not sure how brutal this is going to be. But we will see. These things are so hard to film, like to get good angles and stuff of the top drawer. But we're going to have to stick with this angle for now. And I've got this tin here to put in anything basically this i don't think much is going to go from here my purse is in here and my vape because i went to the vape shop to get a new coil and the vape shop was still closed today on what's the 27th i was shocked is it the 28th i don't know anyway and then i got my vape juice my nail glue which i actually need because i split that nail don't think you can tell and my spare camera batteries so none of that's getting bent right this first tub is all lip balms and I actually put my bupanthin in here. I got this for my tattoo, but I've been using it on my lips the past couple days because they've been so chapped and nothing has helped as much as this bupanthin has. And also the cats love to sit and like sniff my face when I've put this on. It's so weird, but we just, you know, we go with it. Also how cute are these little color pop ones? One's a scrub and one's a lip balm. I just love the tubs. This middle one is all tools, like lash application, sharpeners, my tape, things like that. So none of that's going and that's my uh, lights remote control. So that just stays handy in there. And then they should be in there. This is all chest, lash, mascaras, uh, sorry, lash glues, stuff like that in fact. My waist spatula should be in there and then that can come out. Yeah, it's just lash glue and stuff, spare velour. Then I've also got like the lash serum. I've not even tried it yet, but that's in there. So then I have a multitude of uh, mascara. Some of these need to go, but what ones? Right, this shop AOA can go. These are gonna get binned because obviously you would never like pass on a mascara. That still has life in it, I'm still using it. That is my favorite mascara of all time. Benefit, bad gal bang. The wand is so perfect. It's skinny, it's plastic, it's everything. That NARS is new, that Melt is new. I know that because I I know that. Uh, what is that? The BAM Nui mascara, that's new. I've got, I think I've got two backups of my Huda because I really, really like it. So they're gonna stay. Um, and that's a backup of my Huda favorite liner. I just keep it in here because my liner drawer is quite, in fact, I could just throw that in my liner drawer. That's my old Huda, so that can go because I've got two backups. That's actually really good, I'm still using it. That still works. This I keep for the wand because it is my favorite wand. That is another backup of Huda liner. That doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I quite like that MAC one. That's still good. I know you shouldn't have this many mascaras open. I'm a dork and it just happens. That's the Makeup Revolution one. I can go. Shop A Week and go. Um, I actually... There's a burgundy one. Yeah, I'm going to keep my burgundy Colourpop one because that's still good. The other ones can go. Because they're dead. Oh. This is like my second favorite mascara. They're, they're real magnetic because of the wand. Again, it's just great and that's completely empty. It's dead, but I keep it for the wand. That pixie one's new, that can stay. That uh, revolution one can go. That Technic one is a great mascara. Again, a really skinny, long plastic wand, but it's finished up. 
that Revolution one can go, what is that, Lashed Out, I've actually never tried that from uh, Be Perfect. This one's also new, Milani, they just sent me that, I know that is new. What is this? That's new as well, I got that in like a glossy box. Right, this W7 can go, this milk one is crap, I hate it, it's got a big fat wand. And my perversion from Urban Decay is finished. And then this Huda one, it's actually fine, it's still in use. Uh, I was going to throw it away because I don't really use it, but it's absolutely fine. It just, I just don't really reach for blue mascara that much. I just give this a bit of a clean out, I don't know why it's so messy. Oh, that's so much better, way more manageable. At the back, oh, that Bobbi Brown one's also new. I've not tried it. At the back, I've just got my P. Louise Cut Crease Carver, some, what's that called? Hand soap stuff. My ABH oil, which I like for my brow pomades. A lighter for candles. And my VFX scar wax thing that I got from Primark for Halloween. So I just keep that back there. So that drawer's fine. I'm just going to throw my little remote in there. Did I turn that off? That was quite handy. Um, and then I'll just put my like batteries back down here and my vape juice because that's just where I reach for it anyway. So that drawer's good. Uh, Alright, let's move on to this one and I will move the camera up for this drawer actually. Okay, so this drawer is just like skincare stuff. So I've got like a bunch of masks and stuff. I'm not going to get rid of anything in here. Basically, I've got my cotton buds and my pixie tonic that I try and remember to use every day, do I? No. I actually have been using my retinol every day followed by my Glow Recipe Banana Moisturiser. I've been quite proud of myself. That is my favourite moisturiser with SPF. I've got a bunch of the Huda eye creams. I'm very lucky I'm on Huda PR so I get all of their skincare, like this stuff, as well as their makeup and I do not take it for granted. That's my Laneige that I got in my glossy box, it's lovely. And then this one's brand new today, Bare Minerals Smoothness Bare Haven Soft Moisturiser. Not tried it yet. Love my Bobbi Brown, love my Primark Dupes, my, Glo my uh, Glam Glow, old favourite. And then I have a million of my Ameliorates back there because they are such a favourite as well. Especially in winter time actually, so let me move one forward. But yeah, that is my kind of skincare drawer, and I actually got rid of a lot of that recently. Ugh. Ignore that drawer. Uh, what drawer next? Oh, this is a good one. Foundation and concealer. Hold on, I need to move this chair. Okay, over here is primers, and I probably will get rid of some. This one, though, is new again today. This is Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer Protecting SPF 30, so that's why I kept it. Usually if I get skincare, I do declutter it. But some things I do keep, like moisturisers I like, because then I don't have to spend money on posh moisturisers. And SPF things I do keep, because I know it's good to use SPF, so. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep my HA Blurs. I've actually got four of these, but this one is for Rachel. I said she could have one, because I have so many, so I'll put that to the side. New Lottie London one, not tried. I love my Smashbox one. It's still got a lot in it, like probably half full, so I'd like to finish it up. Pretty fresh, this Rare Beauty one that um, Christy sent me. It's a wee bit dark on me, technically, but I can make it work under makeup. I love my Benefit ones, love Smashbox. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of them. My absolute ultimate favorite is my Huda Blur Jam. I am so close to finishing that up and I never finish up primers so it's a testament to how good it is. Like it's really lovely. That doesn't fit anywhere. Oh and then I've got my Be Perfect Ekansu thing. I did a haul, included that in it. Great. It's lovely. I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything in here to be brutally honest. I am addicted to concealer as you can probably see. Like I love concealer. I have concealer coming out my butthole. It's just, don't eat concealer. I love concealer. I love drugstore concealer. I love high-end concealer. Favourite though of all time now is the Huda one. This is almost finished. That's how much I love it. The Lancome's pretty new to me. I like the Kat Von D. 
this next one this beautiful bear with me serum it's gorgeous and then at the back i've got my foundations which i decluttered on my own a few weeks ago like not intentionally but how much how few is that i used to have a whole drawer dedicated to foundation and now that's all i have so like got my nars ones i love the huda i really like the hydromaniac the Ciate is its dead favorite new favorite is that makeup revolution one that i tried in a recent video that emily sent me i'm wearing it today i've worn it every day since it's the best even better than my true match it's better than the l'oreal it's better than is it maybe better than next born to glow so yeah i got rid of a lot of foundation recently so Ooh. then all oh, powders i've got all my sponges at the back here and i wash them after no i wash them before i use them not after i use them so they always go in here dirty but they get washed before i use them powders oh look at this Anne marie sent me my christmas present today and part of it was a fresh maybelline <gasps> Gorgeous. I'm gonna finish that other one up though. I like I don't see the need to I'm throwing it in the bin. Um I've got a lot of powders. This Fahrenheit one from Be Perfect is quite nice. I don't love it, love it, love it, but I do really like it. Huda is my favourite, the glowish for a bit of a glow. Studio Fix is my favourite for a bit of coverage, but that's the the Maybelline one is very closely dupe duped that. That's a really good dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury, which I also have and really adore. All my loose powders are here. The Hourglass is nice, but definitely not worth the money. The Huda's really lovely. I still love Koei Airspun. The HNB powder is gorgeous. Fenty is to die for, and obviously Laura Mercier. Uh, so I've got two that don't really fit, but I'm absolutely not getting rid of them. So they can just stay down there. It looks a bit messy but whatever i've still got this bare minerals one i bought years ago in tk maxx and i do like it i quite, I quite often take it with me if i'm traveling anywhere but yeah they these ones from be perfect they're just very finely milled and they just look really lovely on the skin i've got a few different shades just like i've got a few different shades of the huda just in case i'm more tanned or not as tanned you know and that should face that way as well. I'm very happy with my powder drawer. I have to say, is that going to fit in that way? The side goes, yeah, that looks better, does it? I don't think it'll fit at the back now. Yeah, very happy with that. Cleaned it all out, decluttered it massively, and it just looks a lot better. Oh, that's just my makeup towel drawer, and then I've got some like of my costume jewellery in the back here. See, that was really easy. That's why I didn't think what did I get rid of like four mascaras that's crazy so to try and help yeah to try and make this a bit more interesting we'll do this case here while we're here because I feel like I could definitely get rid of some of these uh, so this top drawer is my water liners I don't even want to sort through them because I feel like just depending on what the occasion is, you need a different colour. So I'm just going to reorganise these uh, really quickly. All of these ones are Artitude, apart from that's so my, um, what's that called? Barry um, Black and White. All of these are Sheen, not Sheen, Sheen, S-H-E-E-N. And obviously Mellow. I mean, that's like Melissa in a pot. And then I also have the Cash Beauty ones. I really like the packaging of these. And that yellow looks so stunning, like poking through the packaging. So I'm just going to reorganise these back in here to look a bit neater. But I'm not putting them in any order. Wee bit near, right? What a beautiful, colourful, fun drawer. This is more like gel liners and stuff. I'm definitely gonna get rid of some of these, I think. Right, I've got like my melt ones. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of them just because they're a bit special. 
and I have one from Be Perfect. Yeah, Be Perfect Mogul, this purple one. I use that quite a lot. It's my like only purple liner, but I never use the green, so that can go. And then I have a few of these shades from ColourPop. I think that's completely dried out. Yeah, I mean, that's almost completely... You could probably bring that back to life, but look how stunning that colour was. I do think with, like, some... Uh, Inglot Jewel line, you could still use those. So I'll not like throw them in the bin. Um, this Inglot Blue one, I obviously is super dried up, but with Jewel line, it works fine. Uh, this ColourPop one, I think this is one of their Jelly Much. It's a Jelly Much. I just kept it because it was bright pink and I didn't really have any bright pinks, but that is gonna go. Oh, this one's quite new to me. An Inglot one, shade 70. Uh, this tart one can go. Oh, that's my backup of ABH Noir. I could put that in a single palette. I also have this white one from Inglot that can stay. A lot of them look dried up, but they honestly come back to life with Duraline. This Inglot one, that's actually going to go in the bin. I've had that for about five or six years. Uh, what is this? This is one from Lethal Cosmetics. That green, isn't that fun? I keep that. Got a little black Inglot that can stay. This Be Perfect one can go. Don't like the colour. This is my ABH Jet Liner that can stay. I really enjoy that one. This is a glitter pot from ColourPop. I honestly never use it, so that can go. I never really reach for like uh, limited edition things. And that's my little pot from Collection. That can stay. I used that once and I really enjoyed it. That and then that's my Mehron, uh glitter. Uh, what's it? Gold flakes. They can stay. They're for more like arty farty things, right? Dose of colors, block party, and leave me alone. That can go. I never reach for it. And then I've got. I think that's also. Is it? No, I've got Tell Me More. Obviously, that doesn't go anywhere. I need to put these in my Z palette actually. So I'll take them out of here. And then I've also got X Ray, which is the like black shade. I should totally swatch Tell Me More just because it's such an important shade in my life. Like fuck. Come on. And then it's a backup of Tell Me More so I'm going to keep that. I'll put those four in my Z palette though. There's literally no reason for them to be in here. I'll put these back. Where's my other melt? Oh there's there. I was using it today. I've got that like ochre colour one as well so I'll just put these back in. could definitely fit a whole lot more in this drawer. Maybe I'll put some of these in. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of these sample beauty ones. I've never used them. They just sit there completely unloved. And I am going to get rid of a couple of these Barry M loose glitters. Daniela gave these to me, but she's given me so many like liquid versions that I don't need loose glitter. So they can go. But this one is really special to me. It's, I can't remember the shade, what is it? Go Ship. It's a pure black glitter, so that one stays. And then Pro Glitz, this is from my friend Buttons. That stays, I still need to use that in a video. She really wants me to try the brand. And then I've got this Urban Decay single in Cosmic, which is very special, but I should put that in my Z palette. Then I've got my Leanne Audrey pigments. I love these, so I'm gonna keep these. And a few like random glitters, sorry, that W7 one can go. Carla, I don't reach for it. And I've got a lot of like shadow moon ones, but they're so like unique, real like chunky loose glitters. So I'll I'll keep that. So it's got stars in it. That's purple. That can go. There's a few that I'll get rid of. That can stay. I'll just keep like the special ones. That can go. Oh, that's a Kaima Cosmetics one. That's stunning. What is this? Color pop. Oh, I think I just recently kept this. This is like, so nice. And again, I don't usually keep limited edition things, but this was so beautiful. I couldn't help it. I just kept it. I gave the rest of the collection to my pal, but I did keep that. Right, this Be Perfect one can go. I never reach for it. I've got this Pat McGrath, like gloss. Never, I couldn't get, look at that in there. Like it does, it swatches like, it does swatch blue, but it's like an eye gloss or like a face gloss. It's very interesting, so I do want to keep that. Oh, this one's gorgeous. 
Take Two Cosmetics. It's a loose, like, holographic glitter with chunks in it. My ABH Stars, I've never been able to get rid of those. I just love them. Right, hold on. There is a few more in here I'm going to get rid of. Like, they can go. My Makeup Forever shade S111 Starlet. I got this years ago because of Nikki Tutorials. And it's still got heaps in it and it's glitter. Like, loose glitter so it doesn't, like, get old. This Sarazar can go. My two favourite NYX ones can stay. I, I never really reach for loose glitter, but... They can stay. And that's my wee barium like glitter tower. What a throwback, that kind of packaging, right? Sean Maloney can stay, because I do still like touch it sometimes. Pudding can go. I'm only keeping this one because it's named after me, but I never use it. Ah! Right, this brown one can go. Oh, that can stay, that's gorgeous. That can go. And then Daniela, I think, made me this colour from like a bunch of her glitters so I might keep that one as well but I might put these in here just because they're like little pots of things and it'll give me more room in that second door for maybe liquid glitters so I'll just pop these all in here for a second there I was wor worried that wouldn't all fit and that was a stupid worry because they all fit but it frees up this drawer now because I've got a lot of liquid glitters and I feel like they just kind of get a bit messed up. I really do have a bunch. A bunch. So maybe I should put like all kind of one brand in that drawer just for like beauty's sake. So maybe I'll put like all my W7 and my Urban Decays in that drawer and then they'll look, because they're all like the same size and then that might look nice. So many of these be perfect ones are gorgeous. My uh, unearthly cosmetics ones. When I first got these, I was going to declutter them until I started playing with them, and then I was like, "Holy crap, they are stunning!" I'm very like that. I like see something and I just go, "Nah, I won't use it," and then I end up loving it when I actually sit and use it. So I need to like sometimes not get rid of stuff so quickly. That was my jewel line I put up there. I'll put my Stila's up there as well. Some of them could probably go in the bin, but I can't be bothered finding out which ones. I've actually got a really sore back today, so I'm not feeling like spending forever <laughs> on this declutter. I've got so many of the like W7 and the Urban Decays. They're so gorgeous. My Barry M's actually need to go in the bin because they are so dried up. I need to buy them again. I think you can still buy them. Oh, my cash ones, they can stay. The Be Perfect ones, I try and tell everyone about them. They are so, 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 so good. I do think people are sleeping on them. And the Pixie by Petras are really pretty as well. I have a few of those. This shade Fire from Lottie London is stunning. I don't even know if they still make these, but they're gorgeous. If you're wondering, I'm just binning my Barry M's if you're wondering. Oh, I got this recently, this Miss Piggy Colourpop one. I couldn't get rid of that, that was too fun. And quite an unusual colour, but that can go in there. Uh, I've got a bunch. A bunch of the collection ones, just a great drugstore staple glitter. This is gonna stop filming, hold on. I fixed it, my L'Oreal one. I'm sure I had two of these. Where did I put the other one? Right, these pixie ones, they can go. These She Glam ones, they can go. Uh, I like these collection ones because they're metallic, not glitter. So they are quite special and really cheap. My LA Splash ones, I started collecting these years ago, they're stunning. I'm not emotionally prepared to get rid of these yet, so just, I don't even know if you can still get them, but they are very special to me, I have to say. Mitchell Drip Drip, come on. Imagine I got rid of that. That L'Oreal one can go, I don't reach for that. That one can go, it's another one of them. Uh, that Kimchi one can go. 
Elf can go in the bin because it's totally dried up. I'll just have to repurchase it. And then I have a bunch of OPVs, which let me sort through because I never ever reach for these. So one sec. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all these. I just don't reach for them, so there's no point keeping them. Yeah, I'll put all my Urban Decay and like W7 ones in here. What a beautiful little collection. Like I said, some of them are W7s, some of them are Urban Decay, so... I'll try and put Urban Decay ones beside Urban Decay ones. There we go, that looks glorious. And then behind that, I'll put my Stila's. And I'll put my Pixie ones. Just like there. My L'Oreal one. Did I have a second one of this and put it down somewhere else? Or is that the only one I've got? I'm sure I had two of these. Right, that can go there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And then I'll put these little Game of Thrones ones there. So that drawer just looks kind of nice ish and then the rest will just go in here and I'll put them in nicely but they will get messed up <laughs> done that looks a lot tidier I'm actually pretty pleased I've wanted to get rid of glitters for a while because I had too many like that was full and that was stupid that is all the glitters and stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm going to check through. I think actually most of these can go to new homes. I think the vast majority of them are totally fine. Like the Pixies are brand new. The OPVs, actually, I'm going to keep Topsy because that is my, like, a go-to gold. But, like, the rest of these OPVs, I've only ever swatched them. The she, and, the she Glam ones I've only swatched. I'm pretty sure that's new. Obviously, the potted glitters are totally fine to go to another home. Oh, <gasps> I almost forgot to put my LA Splash ones in. That beautiful. Right, that case is done. And then that side of the unit is done. I don't think there's actually anything else to declutter. Seeing that there is lipsticks, which we could just do just now, because I did get a few requests to do lipsticks as well. My hands are so filthy. I need to show you the boys. They're so cosy on their bed. Hold on, I'll, I'll take you over to them because you deserve to see them. Two little panthers staring at me out of one eye. Can you tell which is which? That's sausage and it's tater tots. I got your tail. I got your tail. I got your tail. You okay, Tidus? He's a handsome boy. He's a handsome boy. Oh, you're so handsome too. You're super handsome too, don't worry. Oh, I didn't mean to wake you up. Titos, you look so deadly. You look deadly. <gasps> the beans. Oh no. I've disrupted him. Now he's gonna get all up in my space. Hey, Sussie. We might as well do lipsticks then, since we're here. There's definitely some I'm going to get rid of. Let me empty that tub or just find a box. Okay, here's an empty box that I've obviously saved for posting to someone else because you can't get rid of a really good box, you know what I mean? Right, let's start off up here. This is glosses and stuff and there's definitely going to be some I can get rid of straight off the bat that I've never used and don't particularly love very much so right I'm gonna put the P. Louise lip oil and my Fenty lip balm into my lip balm drawer first of all to encourage me to use those because I used to put glo uh, lip gloss I used to put what am I trying to say lip balms in this drawer and then I stopped right I'll take out right I love my lip injection I love this so juicy one. This shade is uh, Velour BB from Colourpop. It's gorgeous. Right, I'm going to get rid of these two Colourpop ones. I've never used them. Um, 
got two of my Maybelline. They're gonna stay. I love my Wet Cherry from Lime Chime. Lime Chime? <laughs> Lime Crime. Uh, this Cash Beauty one I like. This Morphe one I like. I've also got my Emmyway one that's still quite new to me, so I'm gonna keep that. Right, I'm gonna get rid of this Makeup Revolution one because it changes colour, which I didn't know when I first tried it. Get rid of that one. Keeping that one, it's gorgeous. I wear it all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that Too Faced one because I adore it. That Fenty Cream, I've never tried it, so I'm gonna keep it. Oh, Pipe Bomb, I really like that from Makeup Revolution. And my new Milani one. Uh, I'll keep that Wet n Wild, I'll keep that Elf. Bought those recently. Oh, I've got a Pat McGrath lip balm. I need to put that in my lip balm drawer. This Fenty Cream can stay. This Fenty, I think, can actually go. I don't really like the colour. Oh, my Dose of Colours gloss. That can go in the bin. I've had that for about 500 years. And I'm going to get rid of both these Huda ones. I don't really like the Silk Balm and then I don't think the plumping one does anything. Oh, I love my Lunar Beauty. That can stay. I love the ghost thing from Lime Crime. It like fills in the lip lines. That one can go. Oh, that can stay. I got that recently. MAC. Uh, what's it called? Oyster Girl Can Stay. That was new. I asked Brianna for that. She brought that over for me from America. Sweet from ABH Stays. And then that Jordan Tisha Stays. I'll pop these back in. I don't think I did too badly there. I don't think I did badly at all. They are put in zero particular order. It doesn't really matter. Reds, probably not gonna get rid of very much because uh, reds are very, very special to me and I adore them. Uh, what could I get rid of? That steel art, I don't like it. Okay. Oh, Rooch from Colourpop, one of my favourite colours. Do they still do it? I don't know. But it's a really lovely winter colour. That's so old. Not getting rid of it, I'm sorry. Linda Hallberg, I still not tried that. My NARS ones, I'm not getting rid of. Oh, that's my favourite NARS one. Shade under my thumb. It's like a raspberry red. So beautiful. I love um, Power Shade Homicide. Don't think that's made anymore, but it's very special. Too Faced and Fenty Stay. Dose of Colours Mars Stay. Fenty Stay. I've got Bond Girl. That's Karina's Love, which is a proper red from Charlotte. And I've also got Bond Girl, which is, I think I got that in like a, a advent calendar or something. That can go. I never reached for it, actually. Uh, 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 Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star. I do not promote Jefferson Starship on my channel, but these are two of my favourite reds in my collection. And I wear them all the time to like work and stuff, so I'm not getting rid of them. I'm going to keep my Kylie one. I'm going to keep uh, Ariba. Colourpop, that's another favourite. Stila, oh no, that can, I was going to say that can go not N-O-T-T-E, that can stay. I get so many compliments on that shade. My Maybellines can stay because I love them and I love the formula. MAC, what is that? Fashion Sweetie. Let me see. I don't think I'm a fan of that formula so that can go. And then I've got a few Mac. I've got Lady Danger. Is that Lady Danger? No, that's D for Danger, which is like a dark. I just stick my thumb in it. I did. Like a dark maroony red. Just stuck my finger in it right there. Then I've got Lady Danger, which is like a proper like tangerine orange red. Then I've got the classic Ruby Woo. It obviously doesn't go anywhere. And then this is a little mini of Lady Danger that uh, Brianna gave to me when she was over. And I'm going to keep it. Then I've got Kaleidos Dahlia. I'm going to get rid of that. I actually, I like the formula but I don't love it. So that can go. I'm going to get rid of that NYX one because I hate the gloss. Uh, Colourpop Season 10. That can go. Never reach for it. Lottie London can stay. MUA can stay, Revolution, they can go. That can go. ABH can go. Huda. Unta I didn't think I was going to get rid of any of these. But actually, now that I'm having a good rummage, 
I'll keep that Huda one because I think it's the only Huda lip I've got and I want to do a full face of Huda. I really like this red from Makeup Revolution. Uh, a bony alien bony <laughs> alien gives my ex Gina sent me that before she left. That can stay, that can stay, map me up can stay, that can go and what shade is this? Pumpkin. Pumpkin, which is like that's gorgeous, that can stay. Wow, that's stunning actually. I shouldn't probably wipe my hands with a disinfectant wipe, but there we go. Right, I'm just gonna throw these back in. Again, no particular order, they get messed up daily. Saucy has joined us to cause commotion, I'm sure. Hmm? Yeah, I reach into this drawer so much, I uh, wear red a lot, that it gets very messy very quickly. So don't worry about it too much. And then we're in the pink, mauve kind of pink drawer. So I wore Queen of the Night yesterday, so I'm gonna keep that because it's a very nice dark burgundy, but my other Kaleidos can go. This is new to me. Ella picked this pink up for me because, oh darling, Morphe had like lipsticks at 60 pence or something. So she saw that pink and she's like, that's got Melissa's name on it. Maybelline can stay. I have a few Max. That is Saint Germain, which obviously I bought because of Shanix. So I've got pink plaid. Got candy yum yum. Obs. Got snob. That was very well loved. And I've got angel. That's really loved as well. Uh, dose of colours can stay. They're wonderful. That can go. Uh, what's that brand again? What's it called? Sugar pill that can go. It's really old. Urban Decay is easy. Most compliments come on that. That ABH can go. I love this NYX one. It's like a really weird mauve purple. Too Faced stay. Kylie stays. And then I've got... Is this Bosworth's Beauty? <gasps> Look at that pink from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, that Jeffree Star one can go. But I'm going to keep that one because it's a gorgeous colour. Again, I don't promote it or use it on my channel, but I just have it. I'm going to keep my Norris, but get rid of that colour pop. Get rid of that colour drain. I'm going to get rid of that one. That's definitely a red from Lily Prime. I've got two Too Faced Queen Bee. I'm sorry, he's decided to pull his nails on my chair right in front of the camera. I've got this pink from Colourpop. I really like. It's a weird colour, but on the lips it's beautiful. Uh, that can go... <gasps> got my... Oh, Huda Bachelorette. That's a favourite. Mine is so broken. But it is a gorgeous colour, so I can see. It doesn't look broken. That doesn't look broken at all, so that's not Bachelorette. That's Spring Break. Where's Bachelorette? Ah! I'm missing a lipstick. Might be in my handbag. Got two from, uh, what's her name, Pat McGrath. Oh, these are both presents, obviously. I am not rich. Look at them. I've actually still got the boxes for these somewhere because they're so special. Pixie can go, I still reach for it. Urban Decay. Oh, I'm going to wear that in summertime. Shut up. That can stay. And Fenty obviously stays. Imagine. I got rid of my Fenty liquid lipsticks. Yes, I got rid of a Fenty gloss, but that is a whole different kettle of fish. So, right, let me put these back in. I can't believe I'm missing Huda Shade Bachelorette. I'm wondering if I binned it because it was so broken, but that doesn't sound like me. Like, I don't mind using a broken lipstick, but it's not here, so what are we to do? The nudes. No, no, darling. Mummy just needs another five minutes. Potato's gonna jump on the camera, I can tell. I love nudes. Right, that can go. I'm gonna get rid of some and keep some. Stay. Stay, stay. I'm trying to be a bit more brutal with my nudes, I'll be honest. I'm 
still mad about Who the Bachelorette. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Where is my Fenty? Where is Fenty pumpkin rolls? It's there, I can see it. Hold your horses. We don't need to be mad yet. I don't think I'm getting rid of any of these. <laughs> Get rid of the ABH. They're old. I'm going to get rid of these Maybellines because I don't use them anymore. In fact, they can just go straight in the bin. And then I can't get rid of this for the life of me. This is Jefferson Starship shade. Uh, Special Order. It's a really weird pumpkin-y shade and it's gorgeous. What is this? Oh, Velvet Teddy. Again, Brianna gave me this with the other minis. I actually wore it to work the other day. I got rid of a few there. But, I mean, my nudes are... Quite, it's quite a curated collection. If you want really pale nudes, look at the brand Clarity Cosmetics for the liquid. Like, look how pale that is. Isn't that wonderful? Wow, I've got two of those, like, slightly different nudes. But yeah, I'm just going to put these back in because, again, didn't really get rid of any there. Not many anyway. Not many anyway. The Cash Beauty lipsticks are great. So are the Hoodas. So is Morphe. If you think that looks messy, then it is, because again, it all gets super messed up. I think that's a much better collection of lipsticks. That's how many I'm getting rid of, and that's quite a big box, so actually I'm quite impressed with my little old self. Let me show you my lip liners, because that's a glorious drawer. I'm not going to get rid of them, but I just want to show you them, because they're fracking cool. Keep them in here. Is that eyeliners? Oh, that's eyeliners again. Not getting rid of any of them, to be honest. And then this is my lip liners. So all my nudes, browns, and then like pinks and reds and stranger colours. That's pretty much it. I really need to tidy up my desk. I've been absolutely messing it up, haven't they, sausage, darling boy? Oh, was a pretty boy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think we did pretty good. We're getting rid of a fair bunch of stuff. I'm impressed with myself. Okay, once again, I'm filming this outro. Once shut up. One second after I filmed the intro. So I don't know how brutal that was, but I know you guys seem to like declutters. I enjoyed doing them. It gives me peace of mind and joy in my heart. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. If you missed my previous two, I'll link them down below. Again, I apologize if the editing is crap on this. I'm still getting used to that new software. It's very difficult for me, a banana with technology. Anyway, I'm gonna piss off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. It does really, really help out my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Do you want this look? And did I do good? Subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be, I think, one more part to this declutter. And that's it, I'm gonna piss off. And I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Mm. What taste is it? It's only like Tuesday night beer. It's different.